In this video, I'll be sharing my top seven CDRs to buy in Canada for 2022. I've researched all 23 CDRs listed on the Canadian Neo Exchange, and this is my list of CDRs I think are the best buys right now for the long term. Now, if you're a Canadian investor and you've never heard of a CDR before, listen up because this video could impact your investing strategy big time. CDR stands for Canadian Depository Receipt, which is a US stock that trades in Canadian dollars on the Neo Exchange here in Canada. And there are three major benefits to owning CDRs rather than the underlying US stocks. First, you won't need to convert your cash to US dollars anymore to buy American stocks since these CDRs trade in Canadian dollars. Second, CDRs have a built-in currency hedge, making them less risky than holding the actual stock in US dollars. Therefore, your performance will reflect the company's actual stock price movements without currency fluctuations in the mix. And third, CDRs essentially allow you to own fractional shares of the underlying stock, enabling you to dollar cost average and diversify your portfolio much more easily. Easily. However, despite claiming to have no management fees, this is a little bit misleading. Since they do charge 0.6% per year to manage the currency hedge, which I did have to gather by emailing CIBC directly. In any case, however, I think that CDRs still offer tremendous value to Canadians wanting to own some of the top US stocks, including myself. So if you do enjoy the video, remember to give it a thumbs up to help support my channel. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing down below so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Also, I wanted to let you know that in my Discord community, of investors, a lot of members have been posting their portfolios and I've been doing video reviews of their portfolios. So if you want your portfolio reviewed, make sure to sign up for my Discord community of investors below. But anyways, with that said, let's get straight into the video. The first CDR for Canadians to buy in 2022 is Meta with ticker symbol MVRS.NE. Right now, this CDR trades for $12 per share while Meta stock actually trades above $200 US per share and is down about 45% off its all-time high. Meta the stock tanked after their Q4 earnings report where they missed on EPS and offered poor guidance for Q1 of 2022, expecting only 3-9% to revenue growth year over year. The company is also investing heavily into the metaverse which took a $10 billion hit to net income for 2021 and is only expected to continue growing. Moreover, the company is continuing to face ad targeting headwinds from the recent Apple iOS 14 changes, while Google just announced similar changes to come but over the next two years. However, after thinking about this for a while since their recent earnings report, I am strongly convinced that Meta is a great buy right now because this company is trading way too cheaply in my opinion. At a trailing PE ratio of 15, Meta stock is trading at half the valuation of other boring consumer staple stocks like Coca-Cola, PepsiCo, and Procter & Gamble, all with revenue growth rates below 10% per year. And by the way guys, if you want to easily analyze and compare stocks like this, you can sign up for my free stock research platform, Inverse, using the link in the description below. You'll also be able to follow me over there and see some of the research reports that I post. But anyways, riddle me this, investors would rather pay double the price for these dead money consumer stable stocks over Meta, being one of the world's greatest technology companies having an 80% gross margin and some of the world's best engineers being led by an innovative CEO and investing heavily in the next social platform, aka the metaverse. I'm sorry, but I don't buy this logic. I would much rather hold Meta stock and I bet its returns will far outperform the rest over the next five to 10 years. All right, now the second CDR to buy in 2022 is Disney with ticker symbol Diz.ni. Get it? Disney. Right now, the CDR trades for $18 per share, while Disney stock actually trades for $150 US dollars per share and is down about 25% from all-time highs. However, I believe this is presenting a great buying opportunity for a few reasons. Firstly, in Disney's recent Q4 2021 earnings, they reported revenue of $21.8 billion versus analysts' expectations of $20.9 billion, while they nearly doubled analyst expectations for EPS coming in at $1.06. This resulted from Disney's theme parks roaring back into high demand, which saw revenue double year over year. And as such, the CEO Bob Chapek announced Disney is raising prices for the parks since they are now seeing such high demand, which is great. Secondly, if you're looking for any reason to be bullish on Disney stock, it would be for their streaming service Disney Plus, which is quickly catching up to Netflix in terms of the number of subscribers on their platform. In Q4 alone, Disney Plus grew its subscriber base by nearly 12 million users, while their average revenue per user grew from $5.80 in 2020 to $6.68 per month in 2021. So I think Disney's recent sell-off is presenting a pretty good buying opportunity for the next few years as this company transforms into more of a streaming and technology giant. All right, now the third CDR to buy in 2022 is Google with ticker symbol Goog.ne. Right now, the CDR trades for just above $22 per share while Google stock currently trades at $2,600 US dollars per share 
and is down about 13% from its high last November. Without a doubt, Google is one of the best companies in this entire list, and ever since their Q4 earnings report that just came out, I've become even more bullish. Here's why. Google saw Q4 revenue come in at $75.3 billion, beating analyst estimates of $72.2 billion, while EPS came in at $30.69, also beating expectations of $27.34, and this is just incredible. But hands down, the most important part about this earnings report was was the 20 for 1 stock split announcement, which will take place on July 1st of 2022. I recently made a video sharing why Google stock could be a good buy before the stock split, and one of the major reasons was because it opens up tons of demand from retail investors and options traders with a lower share price. As we can see, the options market has spiked tremendously over the past few years since COVID, which could offer Google stock a boost with more investors taking advantage of call options contracts and selling put options contracts. Aside from the stock split though, Google's valuation is incredibly compelling right now, having a trailing PE ratio of 24, and if we back out their net cash pile of over $100 billion, it's even lower than this. Overall, I'll go on a limb and say I think it's crazy if you don't own Google stock in your portfolio, and I think this CDR should offer Canadians a great way to average into Google. Alright, moving on to the fourth CDR to buy in 2022, and that would be Visa, with ticker symbol Visa.ne. Right now, this CDR trades for $22 per share, while Visa stock stock actually trades above 220 US dollars per share and is down about 11% from its all-time high back in 2021. So now here are a few reasons why I think Visa stock is an incredible buy right now. First, Visa stock is a natural hedge against inflation since they do earn a percentage off of every transaction processed by their network. And since inflation came in for January at 7.5% year over year, Visa is undoubtedly one of the best stocks you can own in today's market. Secondly, their Q4 2021 earnings were absolutely incredible. Just check this out. Visa's EPS grew 27% year over year to $1.81, beating analyst estimates of $1.69, while net revenues grew at 24% year over year to $7.1 billion, which is honestly incredible. They're also expected to continue growing EPS at 19% next year, then 18% per year over the next five years, which seems completely doable. Visa seems to be benefiting big time from the reopening of the economy as more consumers are spending money on flights, vacations, and everything that they weren't spending on during during COVID, so this is great for Visa's bottom line. Moreover, Visa just announced a new share repurchase program of $12 billion, which I think is awesome since the company generates so much free cash flow and needs to spend it somehow. So for these reasons, Visa CDR is a great buy for 2022. All right, now the fifth CDR to buy in 2022 is Amazon with ticker symbol AMZN.NE. Right now, the CDR trades for $19 per share Canadian, while Amazon stock actually trades above $3,000 US dollars per share while it's down about 17% off its all-time high. Unlike Google, there's no stock split plan for Amazon stock, so this CDR definitely comes in handy for Canadians. Anyways, despite the year-over-year -year metrics not looking that great in Amazon's recent Q4 earnings report, it seemed to be well appreciated by investors. Amazon had revenue of $137.4 billion, falling slightly below estimates of $137.6 billion, while adjusted EPS was $5.80, beating $3.57 expected. But they only guided for revenues of 112 to 117 billion in Q1 of 2022, which did fall below analyst estimates of 120 billion. However, there are two reasons why I believe Amazon stock jumped after their earnings report, one being because Amazon raised their prime prices, but also AWS revenue grew at 40% year over year, while operating income grew at 48% to $5.3 billion in the quarter. AWS is by far the biggest profit engine for Amazon, and on its own, it could honestly be a $1 trillion valuation if you slap a 50 times multiple on their operating income. So based on their market cap right now, we're essentially only paying $550 billion for the world's largest e-commerce company, not including AWS. So in my opinion, that's a steal of a deal. All right, now the sixth CDR to buy in 2022 is Tesla with ticker symbol TSLA.NE. Right now, the CDR trades for $27.50 per share, while Tesla stock actually trades at $850 US dollars per share and is down about 30% from its all-time high in November 2021. Now, I'll be totally honest with you guys, I believe these prices for Tesla stock right now are a screaming buy, and here's why. In 2021, Tesla produced record deliveries of 936,000 vehicles, which grew 87% year-over-year, bringing in $53.8 billion in total revenues. Then in 2022, Tesla is expected to produce another year of 50% plus revenue growth, which is almost unheard of for companies to maintain for multiple years in a row. And Tesla 
Tesla said they could achieve this growth even without their brand new Gigafactories coming online this year, which are going to be in Austin, Texas and Berlin, Germany. In fact, wrapped Model Ys ready for delivery were recently spotted outside the Texas Gigafactory, meaning the start of deliveries could be announced any day now. And with all of the new technology Tesla's been able to implement in their new factories, this is going to drive margins even higher than they are right now, being at the top of the auto industry. Secondly, Tesla just has a massive opportunity over the next decade. With Tesla being the market leader in EV production, auto gross margins, battery technology, generalized full self-driving, AI capabilities, as well as energy and solar deployment, I don't see why Tesla couldn't be worth over $5 trillion later this decade. So I, for one, have aggressively been buying Tesla CDR on this dip and will continue doing so for many months. Finally, our seventh and last CDR to buy in 2022 is PayPal with ticker symbol PYPL.NE. Right now, the CDR trades for only $8 per share, while PayPal stock actually trades for around $100 US dollars per share and it has seen a massive decline over the past year, being down 66%. In a nutshell, PayPal stock has been under pressure since they're no longer being used on eBay, which did contribute to quite a large portion of their revenues. The company also withdrew their goal to achieve 750 million active accounts by 2025, which signals slowing growth, kind of like Meta is seeing. However, in my opinion, I believe the sell-off has been completely overdone, so let's take a look and see why. In their recent Q4 2021 earnings, PayPal reported revenue of 6.9 $2 billion, up 13% year over year, or 22% growth, excluding eBay, which is still quite rapid. And although guidance for Q1 of 2022 is only 6% revenue growth, it would otherwise be 14% excluding eBay results, where eBay is quickly becoming an insignificant portion of PayPal's revenue. So PayPal's results should look a lot better once their eBay revenue is basically gone off of the income statement and their comps start looking a lot better year over year. Also, the customer engagement on PayPal is continuing to grow at healthy rates while they just announced a partnership with Amazon to allow customers to pay using Venmo. So overall, I think PayPal's valuation is getting attractive and this is a CDR to buy on the dip in my own opinion. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed this video on these top seven CDRs to buy in Canada right now for 2022. But out of all of the 23 CDRs that are listed on the Neo Exchange, which are your favorites? I would love to hear down below. Just comment all of your CDRs that you love. Anyways, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like to help support my channel and subscribe subscribe if you have not already so you don't miss any of my future uploads and with that said I will see you guys in the next one.